Welcome to another episode of Tales of the Abyss. We left Ash. The connection has been cut. We found the cave and got information and apparently can replicate a large portion of land. Possibly unknown. So now we're back with Luke, who understands his being in, well, uh, he got a haircut. I gave myself a haircut. Where did it all go? It went into the skit. Lost technology. Uh, this place looks a lot different from anything I've seen in the Outer Lands. You mean because of the miasma? Well, that too, but these buildings, they look different. And this strange material they're made of. True. Yulia City is rather unique compared to towns in the Outer Lands, but no one here knows how it was built. What do you mean? This city has been around since before the Outer Lands were raised, since the Dawn Age. It's protected from the miasma by what was cutting-edge technology even for the time. But since then we've lost most of that knowledge. Huh. So we don't know how these buildings were built? No, we don't. We can make simple repairs, but expanding or rebuilding it is beyond our capabilities. <clears throat> wow. Really kind of makes you wish they had written all their technology down, doesn't it? Mm. Like, even just a... Insert tab A into slot B would have been helpful. What's this? Ah, oh, this is the roster. It contains a list of everyone living in Aldrin. That's creepy. It's like a census. What's it doing in Tears house? Oh, she's the mayor's granddaughter. Oh, but it's missing some data. Say, Luke, I'm sorry to bother you with this, but could you help fill in the roster information? Sure, but what do I do? Every time you meet someone significant, just write their, their information with this item. Someone significant? So, the roster contains only a list of every significant person living in Aldrant, is what you're saying. By significant, I mean someone whose name is missing. Ask somebody their name. If their name is already on the list, then we're good. But if their name isn't on the list, then add their name. If you do that, next time we open this book, information about the new people will be automatically added. That was a fly getting caught in the trap. It's always loud when the flies end up in there, but not when the beetles do. It might have been a beetle. Yeah. It's not our most important priority. So just do it when you think of it. I'll, uh, there, ha. I'll go ahead and enter our own information right now. How are you not in your own roster? Because I wasn't in the city for a while. But you lived here. I haven't been home in like a year. But I'm a replica. But you're still a resident of this world. Yeah... He said Aldrant, not Yulia City. <laughs> so yeah, her name should be in there. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to look at that. There could be spoilers. <clears throat> okay. There should be more side quests. Same panicky guy from before. Who did this voice? I don't remember. It was me! Okay. Uh, uh, this is bad. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What's wrong? Ah! Oh, it's you, dear. 
Oh, well, actually, uh, when I went to replenish supplies, I forgot to buy rice. There. Theodore? Theodoro. Theodoro's uh, going to get mad at me for forgetting again. Uh... You never change, do you? How much did you need? You'll give me some? You can get me at least five sets. I think I can cover up the fact I forgot. Here is five rice. Ah, uh, well, thank you, dear. Now, I won't get in trouble. Uh, you're always so nice. Wow, really? Glad you think so. What? Oh, uh, well, I gotta go by. The cat, excuse me, the cat is pawing at the door. She wants out. Bad. Alright, what's next? Uh Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Boop. Yes. Oh, Skit, brother and sister. So you and Master Van grew up here? Yes. I was born here. I'm used to it, but Van Well, he had a hard time. I see. Things are very different here from the Outer Lands. Yes, and everybody made fun of him for being an ignorant child of the Outer Lands. Must have been hard for him. Master. Even after he entered the, the Order, people were jealous because he rose to prominence so fast. How very Japanese. That's why he grew beard. He wanted to look as old as possible to avoid that. You really care for him, don't you? Uh, of course I do. That's why it hurt so much. Man was so strong and kind. <clears throat> but Van now... He's not my brother. Dear. I'm sorry. I got a little emotional there. That's okay. You should open up more. Isn't it hard to keep things bottled up like that? I feel attacked. Luke. <laughs> Thank you. Do you feel attacked yet? I feel attacked. I'm dull. Will I ever feel attacked from a game? I did from one. <clears throat> uh... Uh... Well, everybody here is supposed to be British, right? Oh, uh, yes. To be British to save my life. Tia, I was looking for you. About the third Fornic him. Oh, so he's recovered. Layla! So has the third him symbol been discovered? What's the third him? One of those Fornic hymns you use? So he doesn't know about them. The Fornic hymns I use are Yumi's hymns. There are seven altogether. Oh, so the third of those seven. Wait, you always just use two of them. I don't understand the symbolism of the others. Yulia's hymns are useless with only the melody. If you don't understand the meaning and wisdom in the hymns, they're just songs. Oh, that's right. The symbol of the third hymn. There was a hidden passage, or a hidden page in a book van left behind. It might be written there. When you have a chance, stop by my place and take a look. Why do Kim sound pretty tough? Yes, the symbols are very difficult. I know all but the third and fifth. So far, I only understand the first and second. 
<clears throat> so if you don't know and understand the symbols, they really are just ordinary songs. Actually, all seven of you need hymns sung consecutively form another phonic hymn. It's called the Grand Phonic Hymn, and it works even if you don't understand its symbolism. The hymn itself is the symbol of the covenant. The whole covenant with Lorelei Grand Phonic Hymn? What power does that have? It said that the Grand Phonic Hymn and the Key of Lorelei together can summon Lorelei. That sounds amazing! Yes, but the Key of Lorelei has been lost, and I don't know the seventh hymn, so it may not mean much in the end. Cheer up. I don't know about the Grand Phonic Hymn, but your first and second hymns have really helped. That's good enough! Luke, thank you. So much shipping! And it starts. So much shipping! So tell us. I've been waiting for you. What's the book of the fan left behind? It's just an ordinary book on phonic arts, but there was a hidden page at the end. How do you hide a page in a book? Invisible ink. Here's a copy of it. It's visible ink, or there's like a you create. A there might have been a compartment. In it. Yeah. I don't know what it means, but I thought you might. Sis. Oh gosh. She, you don't need to sing those. She's just speaking them aloud. Okay. Always wait to mother, understanding, spreading through the land of Rugnica. Magnificent. Angel's voice. What's going on? Quiet. Tear is meditating. It looks like that really was the symbol of the hymn. Do I need the thing? No. Are you sure? If you want, you can pull Positive. it up. Don't. I'll just have it open just in case. Meditation. It was meditation only. Yeah, but That's I don't know if she's going to sing it at the end. Oh, right. Now I understand. This is the third hymn. Ooh. W were you able to figure out the hidden whatever it was? Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Tear. Thank you. Do you mind if I keep this copy? There's information here about the symbolism in the other hymns as well. But I don't know uh, you bear the bear. I don't yet know enough to understand them. Be my guest. I'm sure it'll come in useful eventually, as you grow stronger. Yes, thank you. Well, the game didn't make her sing it, so you can sing a practice for her. I have to, I have to remember how this goes, hold on. <laughs> Stop, you're gonna throw me off. I can sing the whole thing consecutively, but to pick out the, the pieces, Sections. I have to sing the lines before it. Wow, that's really going to uh, hold you up when we get to the sixth. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to learn them individually. Well, the only thing I had to practice with was the full version. So I can sing the whole thing. I'd have to do that no matter what song I was singing, though. Oh, Tear, it's you. And this must be... Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Luke. I'm you! You stay quiet. Luke. I, uh... I apologize for... for what happened at Xerius. Ah! You're the Luke Replica! I see, I see. You really do look the same. Grandfather! Oh, I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize to us for Xerius, however. What do you mean? The fall of Exerius is written in Yulia's score. 
It occurred because it was meant to. What are you saying? I've never heard that. That makes it the same as Hod. It's part of the closed score. Only those of Maestro rank or higher know of it. If you knew about it through the score, then why didn't you try to stop it? Luke, I'm surprised to hear someone from the Outer Lands say such a thing. A calm, orderly life in accordance with the score is the way of the Order of Lorelei. Well, yeah, but... Why are people read the score on their birthday each year? To learn of the next year and accept the possibilities it holds. What possibilities? There's only one future according to the score. Then why don't you inform the world about Xeri's destruction? Yeah, if you would let everyone know, people wouldn't have had to die. That's the problem. When faced with a score of death, people become unable to live peacefully. Of course, sir. Nobody wants to die. That's not acceptable. Yulia read Prosperity for Aldrin to the score. If we don't move history down that path, we'll lose the prosperity we are promised. We are the Watchers who guide the Outer Lands to prosperity based on Yulia's score. The Order of Lorelei is a tool for that purpose. And that's why Grand Maestro Mose held Phone Master Ion and tried to cause a war. Master Van knew about the score when he took me to Axerius? That's correct. You told me neither Morkuth nor Kim Loska listened when you warned them about Hod. Was that a lie? I'm sorry. You were young. I didn't want to tell you the truth. But Van knows the truth. Then my brother is planning to take revenge on the world. He said that a world shackled to the score is better off destroyed. Tear, you're mistaken in thinking that Van is trying to destroy the world. It's true that there was a time when Van hated the score after what happened to Hod. But now he's doing an admirable job. <laughs> But now he's doing an admirable job as an observer. And he's playing you for a fool. Admirable? Letting everyone in Xerius die was admirable? You're crazy! There is something wrong with all of you! Not at all. At the end of the sixth round stone, Yulia's score reads thus. The land of Runic... The land of Rugnica will be enveloped in war, and Malkuth shall lose territory. Gimlaska Landvaldir shall thrive, and this shall lead to unprecedented prosperity. We have watched all this time in order to bring that unprecedented, unprecedented prosperity to the Outer Lands. But Grandfather, Pan is trying to cause St. Bina to fall. Oh, pish posh, my darling. The battle will take place around it. Saint Bina will not fall. It is not written in the score. Therefore, it cannot possibly come to pass. Now stop worrying about stupid, pointless, useless things. Um, you sound weird. <laughs> Mayor Teodoro? It's time for the council meeting. Oh, good. I'd rather be talking to anyone but you two. I'll be right there. If you two are that worried, take the Yulia road to the Outer Lands. See for yourselves that your concern is groundless. Just like Axerius. <laughs> You're making him sound like fucking Palpatine, damn it. <laughs> Tyr, let's go back to the Outer Lands. We aren't going to accomplish anything here. Right. But before we go, there's something I want to get from my room, okay? Sure. Yeah. He's weird. Yeah. Didn't quite seem all the way there, did he? 
nobody oh. in this godforsaken city is. Oh, hey, thank you. Well, well, to to. I I I mean, well, I. Master <laughs> apologizes. Hmm. Where's where is your room, Tear? It's the room he was sleeping in. The second floor on the house next door is my room. Oh. Then, that whole time I was sleeping in Tear's bed. Uh... Master, why? Oh, Master, is something wrong? Uh... You notice the back of your net is wet. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go. Nothing is wrong. Uh... I mean, it, why does it look like your hands are sweating and you're fidgeting a lot? Well, I'm, I'm, uh, well, I'm perfectly I'm fine. I got, the back of your I, hair. I got, I got a lovely night's sleep in, in, in that because it's such a nice bed and it smelled beautiful. I mean, you're fidgeting quite a lot. Skit, <laughs> starting a new journey, <laughs> just like before. Just like before what? I left you the city like this last time, when I first met you. Oh. Time I went to the Outer Lands to stop my brother. Here. I've got to stop him this time, and we've got to save Saint Bina. Yeah. I can't let another ex youth happen. I am proud of myself for that one, though. Your concerns are groundless, just like Axarius. <laughs> I'm sure nobody's ever made that joke before. Anne hated the school. He was always talking about it here in this room. He'd stand about where you are. He'd stand about where you are now, and say he could never forgive a world that let Hod die. Why does he care so much about Hod? The Isle of Hod was Malkuth land, destroyed in the Hod War 16 years ago. It was our home. Hod fell into the cliff off, just like Xeriud. Van and my mother, who was pregnant with me, fell into the cliff off. Van probably used a phonic hymn. Something happened before I went to the Outer Lands. Van returned to the city, something he didn't do very often. The Greta. Ash seems to suspect something. Ash is still a bit... dainty. He'll cause trouble if he learns that the people of the Outer Lands will be annihilated. Shall we have Sink keep tabs on him? Yes. I thought my brother was planning something terrible. At least, that many people were going to die. I couldn't allow that to happen, even if Hod had been left to die because of the school. I swore I'd stop him, even if it meant killing both of us. Tear. Looks like I failed. I couldn't save Xeris. It's because I... I can't blame it all on you. I took an assignment in the Outer Lands in order to stop Van. You're strong. Am I? I wonder. Too strong. But thanks for telling me about all this. I think maybe I understand you a little better now. That's the first time you've ever thanked me for anything. Really? They're so happy to try close to each other. <laughs> it's not like that. By the way, what time did you c what time? What time? By the way, what did you come here to get? A book on phonology. I thought you would need it. Why? A hyperresonance is caused by seven phonons. I think this will help you learn to control them. Oh, thanks.
Yulia Road is to the right of the meeting room. Let's go. <laughs> Why did you stay? How come you didn't go with Ash and the others, Tyr? Why should I have gone? I had no reason to. Yeah, maybe not, but... I was ordered by Moe's to search for the Seventh Phone Stone. The one in Xeriath turned out to be a fake. Granted, I have to report that, but that has nothing to do with Ash. Besides, he's one of my brother's troops. I can't trust him. Oh, so... Don't think I've stayed for you, either. Oh, of course. I plan to discuss my course of action with Grandfather. You just woke up before I left, that's all. Oh, yeah, right. Of course not. But I'm going with you now to watch you and see whether you really can change. Remember that. Yeah, I know. I... I'll do everything I can. <clears throat> well, the Yulia Road is right through here and up and to the right, just as Tyr said. This path connects to the Aramis Spring on the Padaminian. Padam. Padam. The Damian? Thank you. <laughs> this path connects to the Aramis Spring on the Padamian continent. On the what continent? The Damian. That's what you said! Yeah, I was saying that as Hana, now I'm saying it as Luke. That place is crawling with monsters. Are you ready? <clears throat> yeah, I'm ready. This'll be alright, Mew. Here we go. Mew. Are you coming? You just... Or are you just gonna stand oh. there? Oh! oh does it only work uh, if you stand in the Mew middle? Mew just clings yes. on to, like, Mew just, like, walks up and hugs Tear's leg. Uh, we're kind of close. You don't have to be touching me! Ah! The center of the room is very big. <laughs> Whoa! It dumped us out into the water! It's alright. You won't get wet. Huh? That doesn't make... How come? Apparently the force from the Sephiroth sprout... Spout... Spout... Apparently, the force from the Sephiroth spout pushes the water aside. What the fuck is a Sephiroth spout? Exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I just, wait, I don't think I was ever here for this one originally, so I don't know. <laughs> wait, the Sephiroth spout. Those Sephiroth spouts <laughs> sure are strong if they can lift the whole land into the sky. And I destroyed one of them. Standing around depressed isn't going to help you. You're right. I came back here to do what I can. Man, I'm hopeless. Well, you'll and, have all yeah. the time in the world to be hopeless next time on Let's Voice Act. See you guys next time. Aramis Spring! I don't think I've actually played this part with you guys. Hey guys! Do you like our content? Do you want to support the show? Click the link in the description below to visit our donation page. All proceeds go towards new and better equipment and games you want to see us play. Everyone who donates will get a special shout out at the end of future videos, and we're currently working on setting up some special perks for you. If you don't want to donate, that's okay too. You can support us by subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you get notified whenever we put out a new video. A huge thank you to Kyle Sheridan for donating and helping to keep our show going. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Let's Voice Act Tales of the Abyss. If you want to watch the last episode, click the box on the left. 
Or if you want to listen to our fantasy journey of Dungeons and Dragons from our show called Saving Throw, then I suggest clicking the box on the right. So again, thanks for watching and see you next time. Janet?